Try push the button. Look at that old button. Yeah. yeah. And the panels up there at the top. Of the now this is how you make an elevator code compliant. You got your original panel over there and your ADA compliant panel over there. Oh, okay. You ready to go up to five? Yep. And yeah, these are trash. And the door closed does not work. Here we go. Now the panel on the right, on the left, is considered ADA compliant? Yeah, it's because it's low enough. Oh, yeah, for somebody in a wheelchair. Uh, access on. Yeah. Button already went out. You'll hear the old switches in a second. This is empty up here. Now listen to this. Listen carefully. Listen to the switches as it starts. As we know, the door closed more. Check the phone box. Uh, <sighs> It's hard to open. Okay. I'll try. No. ADA compliant phone. Here's Andrew and William. Watch the button go out. There it goes. Dominion. These run incredible. If y'all want to go on another ride, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. Yeah. Or if y'all want to try the other elevator too. Let's send this one on. And here's the other one. Wait, it's got a burnout light bulb. Yeah. Now, who makes these ones? These are Dominion. These fixtures are made oh. by GAL. Now, listen to this motor. These are 300 feet per minute. That sounds like a pretty good Hear the switches? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back to the front, and who wants to set down the lobby? They both did it at the same time. <laughs> That's a Dover capacity plate, by the way, over there. See? I'm willing to bet that these are Dovers. The capacity 2,500 pound plate, that's a Dover. Okay. Again, this is just like the other one. There's Evan, William, William. and Andrew. Hi. Sorry, I'm going to. You know, I've filmed with Evan and Aaron before. Mm-hmm. And you can hear the other one open because this one arrived. I'm going to set this up so the door will close. Then you can watch it go. And... It'll close up in any second. There it goes. Yeah. That's it.